Hi, this is Trini from CenturyLink's repair team. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change your wireless name and password from your CenturyLink gateway. The wireless name and password that's unique to every gateway should be kept as they are. If the gateway is ever hard reset, it will revert back to those settings. We do, however, realize that some customers would like to configure these settings to something more personal. First, we need to locate some information from the gateway. There's a sticker attached to the bottom or the side that looks like this. We'll need the GUI address along with the admin, username, and password. Take a picture of it. If it's too small, then you can enlarge it to be able to easily read it. Next, we need a device that's currently connected to the modem, either wirelessly or hardwired. Just keep in mind, if we're using a wireless device, once we make the changes, it will be immediately disconnected. Open an internet browser of your choosing, i.e. Chrome, Firefox, etc. In the address bar, where you would normally type the website you would want to go to, you will enter the modem GUI address, 192.168.0.1, and hit enter. This takes us to the login screen. Here's where we will enter the admin username and password. The username is admin, and the password is unique to every gateway. Then click the apply button to log in. Click on the wireless setup bubble. We default to the basic settings tab. We can see the current wireless settings for each SSID, also known as the network name or wireless name. To change the wireless name, click in the second box and enter what you would like the new wireless name to be, and then select apply. Note, this step is optional and not necessary to change the password. To change the wireless password, click on the wireless security tab and then the enter security key slash passphrase field. Select the use custom security key passphrase radio button and enter the new password. Then click on apply to save the changes. Remember, if you're connected wirelessly and made this change, this device along with any other devices that were connected using the previous password have now been booted off. You'll need to reconnect all of your devices using the new password. Thanks for watching. We have lots of tips like this one on our website at ctlhelp.com and we're also available for chat if you have questions.